Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Case Closed. My name is Edwin Johnson, I'm going to talk about something here. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about the interview I just seen with Kenneth Owens and Mark Lehman Hill. Now, when I was looking at this video, I tried to look at both sides. I did. I know I hate Kenneth Owens, but I tried my best to understand her. And I watched it because Mark Lehman Hill is, is a pretty good guy. I mean, he's a nice guy. I'm surprised he was so nice in this interview. Candace Owens gets the nicest people she can for her shows because she doesn't want to be attacked because it's the way she was. I was actually watching her one interview that she had two years ago against some lady. I forgot her name, but just they were just yelling at each other. You probably know the video I'm talking about. They were just yelling at each other. I think it was like on the Rubin Report or something like that. They were just yelling at each other. And Candace Owens would not let this lady get a word out of her. She looked down on people. She did that. It was ridiculous. It was actually sickening in my honest opinion. You don't believe me. Look at her video on the Ruben Report show. She was going to get some lady. She was calling people that do YouTube videos, bottom feeders. She was just looking down on people, talking about people's views. She was just totally looking down on people. And it was like, that's Candace Owens. That's why I was telling people, that's Candace Owens. Someone that looks down on people and don't look at no one. That if you're above, inferior in some type of way, she'll look up to you. But if you below her, she, she doesn't care. She'll step over you and walk right past you and say, say some crazy shit. But as I was watching this thing, I mean, this guy could have attacked her in many ways. But he was being way too nice. And I don't understand it. Like, when she brought up the whole George Floyd thing, talking about he had fentanyl in the system and that... He probably didn't die from the knee on his neck. The very first thing I told myself was, why didn't he counter that? Listen, the cops did their autopsy. He had that in his system. Fentanyl, other bullshit drugs, heart disease, and everything like that. But the family did their report. Their family report said a so totally different thing. When Candace always brought that up. She even said it. Well, they did their own privacy case, but we're not going to talk about it. But you want to talk about the cop one, though. The, the cop report you want to talk about, but you don't want to bring up the other report that the family did because you didn't even bother even dealing with that. You totally avoided that. See, that is what she does. She tries to, like, change the narrative in some type of way. She wants you to stay on topic on what she wants you to talk about. Like, if, so if you're trying to talk about the family report, she don't want to hear about the family report. She only want to hear about the police report, what the police report is saying. So she wants to keep saying fit now, fit now, fit now. And she wants to keep saying that and say that it's for use for this, it's used for this, it's used for this. She's going to stay on that topic. If I was him, I would have totally got off that topic and would have focused on the knee on the neck and saying that it was four guys kneeling on him. He couldn't breathe, and that's probably why he really died. You can't say why he really didn't die because that is what the report is saying. Everyone's seen the way he died. He physically pissed on himself. If you look on that video, you will see water streaming from up under the car. He physically peed on himself. Look it up. Look at the report. He peed on himself. He peed on himself. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. George Floyd was not a great guy. He wasn't. But the way he died was bullshit. The cops should know better. I agree with D.L. Hookney on one thing when he said something like, listen, a doctor can't fuck up on an operation. Just like a cop should fuck up on a job. It's that simple. Some jobs you really got to be perfect on. If you want to work here, you have to be perfect. It's like working on skyscrapers back in the day. You know, back in those 19... A lot of people fell off and died. But they made regulations. You wear, you wear a, a, a um, hoister thing and stuff like that. You keep yourself. If you fall, you get caught on the rope and something like that. You're good. But the problem is, though, that you still got to be good doing that job. Or the building's going to collapse and you're going to hurt somebody. It's just got to be perfect going about a certain... You got to be perfect. And cops has to be held at that same standard on that. But then she was talking about, she talked about a lot of things that didn't make sense. Like, it's a lot of things. Look at it. Don't try to side with her because she's Ken's own. And she sounds like she's saying smart. A lot of the things she's saying, he brought up statistics. She said, well, she, her gut feelings, or she believed this, or she believed that. She didn't do her research, but she thinks this. You can't think anything if you didn't do your research. Like on one of the shows I was watching her doing, she was saying things like, well, like on climate change, she said a gut feeling on climate change. I just feel like climate is always changing, which is true. The climate changes, but we do contribute to the climate change. If you look with the COVID-19 thing that went on, when people couldn't drive, couldn't do anything, pollution rate went down dramatically. People could actually see the skies in some countries and even see mountains in some countries. Where the fuck? And people didn't really need to wear masks to a certain degree because the pollution rate was so down they could actually breathe better. So, 
what the fuck are you talking about? Pollution doesn't do anything with global warming, but when you see so much, I don't think she understands what carbon monoxide does to people. It's like a greenhouse effect on things. I mean, I guess she doesn't know anything about Venus or anything like that, but that's besides the point. I'm just get off that. Because she's a fucking idiot, in my honest opinion. The problem is, though, she talks really, really fast and tries to make you understand what she is saying. The problem is, though, she ain't saying factual things. She's saying bullshit. And I'm surprised Mark Lehman did not attack her the way he was supposed to. I think he tried to. But the problem with Candace Owens is she is very good at deflecting. She's very good at that. If she could deflect the conversation, she would do that with ease. And I think people need to try to stay on that topic. When she had that interview with that one girl, she was calling her all types of names and cussing and yelling. Candace Owens was cussing, yelling, wouldn't let the woman talk, over talking her and everything. Just because that lady wouldn't let Candace Owens have her way. She stayed on the topic. Candace Owens wanted to change the topic. That lady stayed on that topic, which pissed Candace Owens off. And Candace Owens was saying things like, well, let's get, no, the lady didn't get off the topic, and I don't blame her. That is how you, that's how you attack people like that. You stay on that topic, and you don't change it. Because Candace Owens wants you to change. You don't have to change if you don't want to. So, I think that's the problem with that whole interview I just watched. It was because he didn't attack Candace Owens in a way where he should have. Candace Owens was talking about government doesn't get money, government doesn't do this, government doesn't do that, blah, 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 blah. She believes in Trump. She still does this. She does this. Do you not understand something? When Trump does fucked up things like the white power thing he tweeted but then deleted, did she make a video about that dissing it? Nope. She left it alone. But when Joe Biden made an interview about if you ain't if you won't vote for me, you ain't black, oh she made a video about that. But she didn't make a video about the white power thing. That's Candace Owens. Gotta stay on the you gotta stay on the Got to stay on that narrative of what she's trying to preach. She can't venture off of it. And everybody say, well, she's probably funded. Of course she's funded. Of course she's making money off her bullshit. That's why she acts the way she acts. But it is what it is. Nobody made Floyd, George Floyd a hero. And she was saying things like, well, George Floyd ain't a hero and this and that. And I was listening to some money. He made a good point when he said this. Okay, so if you have a problem with George Floyd and his criminal history, you're saying he's not a hero and things like this, then why are you trying to keep... I mean, why do you have such a problem with people tearing down Confederate, statu f Confederate statues and people statues or any statues of the, of the ordinary that was probably people who did some hateful shit and hateful crimes way worse than what George Floyd did. But you want to keep those and keep those as heroes, but you don't want to put George Floyd as a hero. Like, that's Candace Owens. That's Candace Owens. Nobody made him a hero. But they sure as hell made... Robert E. Lee a fucking hero. He did a lot of great things. Robert E. Lee did some good things. You look at the history, he did a lot of great things. He tried to. But he did a lot of fucked up shit on the way. But he has a statue and schools and streets named that though. But you got a plumber George Floyd getting a knee on his neck and dying the way he died and people protesting Black Lives Matter. Then she always says things like Black Lives Matter comes out around the time during um during the time of you know, election. Because yeah, where that Black Lives Matter was around 2019, 2018, they were loud. So, so when should they even talk? I'm done with this. <laughs> Listen, you let's look at the video. You'll see for myself. Try to try to have an open mind when you go into it. Don't try to listen to Ken Soren's fast talking ass. Really try to have an open mind of it and do your research. Everything she says, do your research, and I guarantee. You, None of the data that she supports is facts. She doesn't even believe in dot coms and stuff like that. She says she believes in dot orgs and basically weird shit like that. So <laughs> she said that. Look it up. You'll see it. Have a good day.